Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3. Last time we played, we finished up stealing independence. We actually got the Declaration of Independence as well as a couple of other important historical documents and we gave it to Abraham Washington. He was really grateful. We made some money and we were able to help Sydney and we got her neat new SMG, uh, which we probably won't use. Uh, also, I, I already got a problem with rad scorpions today. Now, now that that's taken care of, uh, I've got a lot of really great weapons. You know, I've, I've got a lot of good things going for me. But um, even though I have this Tesla armor, which is really cool, I think what I need to do is try to find some more uh, unique and interesting armors. So to get to uh, to get that ball rolling, we're going to start with, uh, well, not really start with. We're going to finish. You got to shoot him in the head, right? So... We've got Ted Strayer's key, we've got Dukov's key, and the only thing left to do is to get the key from Dave, from the Republic of Dave. Now, I've done pretty good about, well, not pretty good, how, how should I say this? I killed Tenpenny, uh, because, you know, Tenpenny Tower, that whole debacle. I killed Dukov, because he sucks, and I just stole the key from Ted Strayer in Rivet City, so he's still alive. Now, the... The thing is, Mr. Crowley really wanted me to kill these guys. He specifically wanted them to die from a shot to the head. But I don't feel right uh, just doing that, you know? I mean, not all of these people are terrible. Ted Strayer, for example, got the key from his dad. It, it had nothing to do with him. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to kill Dave or not. But I'm probably still gonna mess up his life. It seems like everyone I come into contact with in this wasteland, I kind of, I kind of ruin their lives a little bit. So we're probably gonna follow in on that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, anyways. Uh, oh my god! Not what I was expecting, but okay. Just take care of all these guys real quick. Come on. Kill him. Where the hell did the scorpion come from? Clover might die here. Okay, you need to go. Come on. Come on. Okay. Hey, how you doing, guy? Looks like you pulled my fat out of the fire again. Thanks. I was not expecting that. Donovan, how are you doing, man? Tracked you using the deal mapper. Riley sent me to find you so I could bring you this. You came all this way to give me a mini nuke. I don't know what to say, man. What do I owe you? Not a thing. Rangers take care of their own. You watch your ass out here. And come back alive. Man, I will. You need to be careful yourself. Uh, that was that was quite a predicament you were in, my friend. Uh, wow, okay. So we're already off to a great start today. Every, everything's working out really well for us. Anyways. So to get Dave's key, we're going to go off to the Republic of Dave. It's going to work out really great. Probably not for Dave himself, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Thing is, I already gave Mr. Crowley one of the keys, and I need all of the keys in order to, uh, in order to get this item that I'm looking for. So, we're gonna have to figure out, uh, wait it. I'm not sure what that was, but okay. We'll have to figure out, uh, some way of dealing with it. Hello? What is going on in the wasteland today? There's just a lot of people running about. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That is fine. Oh my god! Dude, you're gonna die. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's nothing I could do. Okay, I might die as well. Clover. Okay, you need to, you need to go down. You need to go down. Please, don't hurt my friend. Thank you. Clover, you almost died. All right, it's not the time to be all all cocky. I hope this dude here wasn't named. Hello? Wastelander. Okay, well, he wasn't. But I get a frag grenade from it. 
Okay. Man, we're having a weird day already. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm going to try to tag some places along the way. Just so that way, uh, I like having the map nice and filled up. So, when I sort of wander about. Not a lie. I don't want to get too distracted. But maybe just a little distracted. I wonder, is that... Is the Enclave sign always there? Or does it only show up after you meet the Enclave? I don't know. It's just like a regular billboard. And then once you meet the Enclave, they start plastering up all this propaganda. Oh, God. I hear it. Cool. Well, Grizzly Diner. I need to be uh, aware of... Of mines. Hello? Oh, oh, oh! Hello? Hi! Oh god, there's so many explosions going on right now. Hey! Hey, y'all. I need you to- Okay, great. It was nice meeting ya. Oh, hey. One of the Color Family transcripts. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna find all of those. Uh, I've, I, I've already found one. I don't think that I've played it. I can't remember if I did or not. Um, basically, there's a whole story tied to it. Uh, but we're gonna save that for another day. Uh, because I do want to find all five of them. But I think I only have two of them so far. So, I will get the rest, though. You can rest assured on that. Looks like we found some kind of radio to- Hello? What? Look out from what? This guy? Hi, how are you? Another wasteland survivor, huh? Sorry, but I don't got enough to share. Get your own copy of the book and do your own hunting. Book? What book? Oh, the survival Isn't guide? The wasteland survival guide? Bought one off a trader, and it's the reason my family's back up to two meals a day. Oh, sweet. I helped write that book. Is that so? Well, thanks, stranger. You and that Moira girl done all right by me and mine. Nice writing. Oh, hey, great. Well, I'm glad you're doing okay out here. Neat. It's nice to see the consequence of, like, my actions uh, that are actually positive and not negative. Because, broadly speaking, most of what I do leads to bad impacts on people. You know what I mean? Radio signal Oscar Zulu. Oh, okay. I remember these. You kind of gotta... It's the signal's all kind of staticky and distorted. You have to kind of follow it until you, uh... Until you find where it's coming from. Um... Ah, here it is. Hello? Ah. Um... Yeah, we might be uh, a little late to this. Um, but we tried. That is unfortunate. Oh. Water. Ooh, bo two books. Heck yeah. I mean, one of them is a pre-war book and the other is a, a medicinal book. But I will still, I will gladly take that. I'm sorry I couldn't help y'all, but, I mean, this, this might have been from, uh, this might be a, a pre-war little bunker. I'm not sure. Either way, it's very unfortunate. Let's get out of here. The heck is this? I see a robot. I see a robot that's gonna die anyways. Come on, Protectron. There we go. Oh. I don't need a fission battery. Hold on. I'm always carrying way too much stuff. Uh, hello? Okay. Uh, what is this? Uh, it's just an outhouse. Okay, it's an outhouse with a quantum. 
Heck yeah. I don't like seeing the car move, but, uh... Oh. Come on. Oh, both of them are locked? Okay, that's fine. Uh, hmm. Ha! Huh. There we are. Alright, a little bit of ammunition. Got another quantum. Man, I'm feeling really good about today. Mostly. Hello? Oh, great. Oh my god. Dude, you got scorpions attacking you. I don't, I don't think you should waste your time shooting at me. Alright, fine. Dude. Again, y'all have a scorpion problem right now. Are you okay, Clover? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to set you on fire like that. Okay, well, that was an interesting diversion, I guess. Man, I'm so tired of seeing all the hanging corpses, man. Raiders really need to learn how to decorate their, <laughs> their living situations differently. I'm freaking sick of it. I want to see something other than gore bags and hanging corpses, please. There's a... Dead mole rat. What? Oh, it was the robot. Okay, well. He's not much of an issue. How close are we to the Republic of Dave? I feel like we've been walking for ages. We're really close. Okay, that's, that's excellent news. Ah, here we are. The Republic of Dave. Mister, what you think you're doing in the Republic of Dave? I, I came here to find Dave and not talk to a child. Uh, apparently, a child named Flower. But I'm not here to hurt anyone. Where am I? <laughs> this is the Republic of Dave. Duh, it's named for President Daddy. But you have to talk to him if you want to stay here. Okay. All right. Uh, sure. I think I'd like to meet Dave. Okay. I really want to meet you, Dave. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. Okay, come with me. Okay. Oh my god. Really? Clover, where did you find a scorpion? Is that the only one? I sure hope it is. Oop. Alright, come on. Close the gate. Just try to be respectful here. Speaking of being respectful, I'm gonna walk right past Flower, because it looks like she's gonna walk really slowly. Let's go in here. Hello? That's secure for a reason. Okay, I'm sorry. Ah, hello. There's Quantum. Is this stealing? It is stealing. I will- I will have that quantum. Mark my words. Anyways, how you doing, Dave? I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? Um... Ooh, what, what am I doing? I'm, I'm just a traveler. I guess you could say I'm vacationing. The Department of Tourist Rights has declared a tourism embargo that affects the entirety of the Republic of Dave. You have 24 hours to return to your home nation or face accelerated deportation. What? No, hey, hold on. Nothing more to talk about. Leave my Republic within 24 hours or you will be executed for treason. No, hey, okay, come on. Come on, Dave, be reasonable, you crazy condescending asshole. No, come on, there's got to be something I can do. Hmm, now that you mention it, the president could use a new hunting rifle. Tell you what, 
You find me a serviceable hunting rifle, and I'll grant you special asylum within my Republic. Or you can just pay the 250 cap tax on unwanted refugees. Okay, I'm not paying you any money, but I actually have a hunting rifle, so you can have it. Yes, this will do nicely. Congratulations! You are now an official refugee of the Republic of Dave. Excellent! Uh, so what's going on here, Mr. President? There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? I wouldn't really know. I just, well, let's play nice. Let's play nice. Yeah, absolutely. This is absolutely best republic I ever saw. Well, then, there you go. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. Oh, well, my character's an idiot. He would probably say something like this. Yeah, your father was a monarch? Like, like the butterfly? How much radiation have you been exposed to? Not the butterfly, you moron. I meant the kind of leader that holds his office for a life. My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Although I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. Ah, okay. Well, this could be interesting for us. Can I help you with the election, Mr. President? All right, sure. Why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Very well. Let's see. There's a couple people that we can get to run against him, which we'll go find them at. Well, I mean, two of the people are right here. I don't think both of them. Man. We'll run against him. Awful today. But, uh, hi, Jessica. You okay? Fine. Nice to meet you. Uh, let's talk about the election. I'll help you if I can. Uh, let's see. Who's running? It's, it's just Dave, right? Only Dave. He's the only person who ever runs. That makes sense. Have you ever considered running? No way. You'd have to be crazy to run against him. Hmm, interesting. All right. Hey. Well, if you're not going to run against him, maybe you should go vote. But before I t before I do that, hey there, honey. Have you spoken to Dave? Hi, Rosie. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. I already made fun of one on my way in. So, uh, let's talk about the election. Election time is always exciting around here. Yeah, have you ever considered running? Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I can't. I can't do a speech check, but um, is it because you're too stupid to be present? No, no. I I want her to run. It's not a betrayal. This is a. A, f a free nation, right? Yeah, and like Dave says, freedom is the most free freedom that we have. You know what? You're right. I'll give it a shot. It's like my duty, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, didn't need to do much convincing, but okay. So, Goodbye. Rosie's gonna yourself. run, and she seems like a pretty good leader, and I believe... The only other male in this town uh, can also run. Uh, Bob was his name. Bob! Here's the Brahmin pins. Poor Brahmin. It's a pretty small pin. Ah, they'll be okay. Alright, where's Bob? Oh, hello? Hi, Bob? Yes? What is it? Come on, I don't have all day. Actually, you probably do. Let's talk about the election. Oh, yeah? What about it? Uh, have you ever considered running for the president? Man, I'd love to be the president. Everybody would have to listen to me or I could just exile them to the wasteland. 
And the first thing I'd do is make myself the permanent leader so they couldn't vote me out in some other election. But there's no need for me to run. One year, Dave is just going to make me the leader, just like my grandpa Tom did for him. Interesting. Well, Dave is corrupt. Uh, I wonder... Bob, hear me out, man. Hear me out. I have a very convincing argument. You should try anyways. Yeah? Well, it just so happens that I like being number two around here. So I think I'll just stay right where I am. No, 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 no. Come on. There's got to be a way to convince you, dude. Look, I already... Oh, man, I can't do a speech check. Yeah, okay, well. Yeah? Well, well, so's your face. All right, dude. You, that's a sick burn. Just don't bother me. All right. Uh, actually. On, make it fast. I got no, man, shut up. Okay, uh, you need to vote, but I don't know if I can convince you to vote for Rosie. So I've heard. She couldn't possibly think that she'd be better than Dave. Uh, no, okay. All right, well, hey, man, you should go vote. Fine, I'll get out of the way. Good. All right, let's see, is this the... Yeah, this is the museum. So, I'll just get started on the tour of the museum, then. Oh, oh! To my far right is oh. the baby carriage that our great... Hey, lady, hold on, I'm gonna pause you real quick. The perception bobblehead. Yes! Awesome! I actually wasn't expecting this. Uh... The inscription on the base reads, only through observation will you perceive weakness. Like most babies, he never cried, and his poop didn't stink. Dave had eight siblings and made his own baseball team. The team was so good, in fact, the Wasteland team was so scared, it never showed up to compete. The briefcase is the very one Dave took with him when he became fed up with the poor way okay. that his father right. ran the Okay, that's super interesting. So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Well... Welcome then. I run the Museum of Dave, where the children of the Republic can learn about their heritage. Yeah, it sounded super fascinating. I I love propaganda. Let's uh let's see. Let's talk about the election real quick. Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. I don't I don't think she'll run. But I mean, well, might as well ask her. Absolutely not. In fact, I'd vote for Dave twice if I could. Okay. All right. Well, go vote. Oh no. Dave sent you to tell me that, didn't he? I'll go right away, I promise. All right. Get out of here. Okay. She's got two free war books here and I want them. Uh also, am I Am I evil? I am evil. Oh my gosh. All right. Fine, I'm gonna stay evil for a little while longer then. I got things I gotta do. Alright, everybody needs to go vote. Uh, Jessica. Yes, I am fine. Go vote. I guess you're right. I'll go right now. Good. Alright, and let's see. Uh, where? Rosie? Rosie! All done. Dave's the best. There you what? What are you looking at? I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. All right, go vote. You're right. I'll go right now. Fantastic. Okay. So, there's there's a way I can uh, uh sort of rig Dave, this election in in my favor. I would have had Bob do it, but I I refuse to do speech uh, checks. Good to see you. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna try to make Rosie win, and I I think there's a way I can do that. I think all I have to do. Is when Dave opens up the uh, the ballot box to start counting the votes, I'll just I'll, I'll be right here. I'll I'll open it up, and I will uh, I'll take what's in there. I think I have a stealth boy on me, so if I if I need to uh, be stealthy and hidden, then I can do that. Dave, my friend, hey, I believe everyone's voted. Yes, Mr. President, it looks like all the votes are in. Good. The votes are in. If you'll excuse me, I'll be getting started on tallying the numbers. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Here's your caps. Keep this up and I may deign to make you a citizen in a few years. Real generous. You know what? To be fair, 
I don't remember talking to you at all about getting any caps, so that's very nice of you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I do have a stealth boy. Let's see what we have here. A vote for me and another vote. Oh, here we go. Let's take take those. Perfect. All right. Wait a minute. Has somebody tampered with the ballot box? No. Hmm. After counting the votes, the president is Rosie. Yes. Rosie can't be president. No. This is unfair. This can't be. Fine. I'm leaving. See how you people do without me. Enjoy your new president. Oh, I'm sure they will. Rosie, congratulations, yes. Mrs. President. Well, now, who could have ever thought? Me, president. Huh, things are really going to be different around here. Listen, I can't thank you enough. You convinced me that I could do this, and you were right. I want you to have something. Dave kept some big weapon or something locked up in the safe in his office. The code is 1138. It's yours if you want it. We don't need it anymore. That's super nice of you, and I actually will take that, because I kind of forgot that was a thing. Oh yeah, old painless. Oh, right on. Well, cool. Hey. Well, I kind of wanted Bob to win, but Bob didn't want oh. to, uh... Bob didn't really want to enter the, uh, the race, so that's okay. The point is, Dave lost, and I, I, I do enjoy, I do enjoy ruining people's lives. <laughs> uh, Flower, I got some bad news for you. Actually, I feel kind of bad, because is he really just gonna, like, is that, is Flower really his daughter? Because if so, if he just leaves, what a jerk. Wow, man. Dave sucks. I did y'all a favor. Hey, Good luck. Are you gonna play Republican? Well, it sure is unfortunate for Dave that he lost his whole kingdom. But luckily for me, I got a new gun. And we're gonna get some good use out of it. Oh, right about now. Uh, hopefully we don't miss. Got him. All right. There we go, Dave's special key. And you know what, I'll take my hunting rifle back. Thanks, Dave. Cool. Let's see, Old Painless does 19 damage at about half health. Uh, wow, which is the same as a hunting rifle at full condition. So that's pretty great, except because my repair is not 100, I can't, oh my god. Hold on, can I take a, Okay, hold on. If I took a Mentat, that would give me 5 Intelligence, which would give me, like, 20 Repair, I think. Which wouldn't be enough. Freaking awesome. That's so good. I'm so happy about that. Alright, well, I'll just hold on to it for now. But, since we got that taken care of, we've got every key. So now, we can go give them to Mr. Crowley. Uh, I, do, I, I do need all four keys. So... I guess you could say I'm just going to loan them to Mr. Crowley. Let's see. Ah, Mr. Crowley. We have some business to discuss. You really need to put that plate uh, more properly on that table. You know what? Let's just talk, man. Are they man. all dead yet? Did you bring me any proof? You know what? I I, I have proof. Uh, You know, let's see. Uh, Ted Strayer's still alive. I didn't want to kill him. That's that's actually really it. I just didn't want to kill him. He seemed like a nice kid. That wasn't the plan. I suppose I have to pay for the key anyway, though. Here. I do appreciate that. Dukov is dead with the headshot. May his soul rot. This is great news. I'll take that key as a memento. Here, take your caps. I appreciate it. Dave died to a shot to the head. I don't understand why it says that. I I am so upset. I shot him in the head. I guess I guess it's because he exploded. I don't know. Whatever. He's dead. Just give me my money and take the damn key. Well, at least he's dead. I suppose I have to pay you anyway since you brought back that key. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, wow, speech is seven. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later, man. Well, they may not all be dead, but I have the keys. I should have hired a better mercenary. Run along. I have a trip to plan. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do, Mr. Crowley. Uh, what the heck? What do you think you're doing? Oh. What do you mean, what do you think? What do I think I'm doing? You're the one stuck in the door, dude. Are you kidding me? What? What? Well, this isn't gonna work. Oh, man. Alright. Dang, Fallout. Being Fallout. Okay. That was frustrating. But, uh, I guess we're gonna... We're gonna have to try this again. Hopefully, we can make it through the door without it breaking again. Jeez. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a second. Okay, hopefully hopefully that's enough time. Yes, perfect. Mr. Crowley, it's been nice working with you. Oh, I totally missed. Let me try one more time. There we go. Hopefully no one in the underworld minds that I did that. I didn't lose any karma, so... I mean, that's good. Alright, Dave's special key, Dukov's... That's three. I thought I needed four keys. But, um... I mean... Three out of four is pretty good. I think I can get what I need with just these keys. So, what we need to do now is make it to Fort Constantine. Which is going to be a hell of a trip. So, um, give me a minute. Oh. Okay, I fast traveled to this church where we got the reservist rifle. And, uh, wasn't expecting any of this. I don't know why I wasn't expecting rad scorpions. I'm constantly fighting these things now. It's just my life. Okay. Uh, hopefully that's done. All right. Anyways, uh, so I, I I traded in all of my uh, what well, traded in. I helped clear out my inventory, right? You know, I sold some stuff, repaired some gear. I didn't buy a whole lot of uh, ammunition, so we're just kind of working with what we got. That's okay. I think we got a pretty good bit. Now uh, this road here, if I follow it up. Should take me up to Fort Constantine. I believe it's in this general area. So that's what we're going to do. And I can't get too derailed. Uh, mainly because this episode's already taken me a while to record. So I got I got to get this show on the road. Literally, get it? Because I'm on a road and... Okay. What? Clover, what are you fighting? Clover, it's just a mole rat. It's okay. Speaking of which, for now, I'm going to have my sledgehammer out. Uh, that way I don't waste... Can I have a better gun? No, Clover, you cannot have a better gun. Yeah, but I'm going to have my sledgehammer out. Where? Get, get. Yeah, see, th these dogs, they don't need a minigun, right? They just need a good old-fashioned sledgehammer to the face. That's much better for them. What do you mean, hey? Who? What? Okay. Yeah, we're going to fight a lot of robots today. Because I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of robots uh, uh, in Fort Constantine. So, I we're just getting a little practice in. Uh, and if we could find some... What the? If we could find some... I think it's Mr. Gutsies. I think it's Mr. Gutsies that uh, can give you uh, flamer fuel. I would like some of that. That would be pretty excellent for me. I see more god dang rad scorpions. This is unbelievable. It's an unbelievable amount of rad scorpions.
Oh, I didn't mean to pull this out, but uh, it's basically too late. Come on. Thank you. I knew I saw another one. What are you doing over there, buddy? Are you chasing after someone else? Or are you just trying to figure out the best way to get to- uh, No, you're just trying to figure out the best way to get to me. That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Oh my god, there are entirely too many scorpions. Jeez. Okay. Alright. Uh. Over here. What? Where? Another one? Get at it. Here. God dang. Are we done? Are we done with the scorpions? Because I'm kind of over them. Alright, I'm still pretty confident that we're going the right way though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it, man. Let's see. What? Hi, hello. What the hell is happening over there? Are you guys Brotherhood outcasts? I think you are. Well, good job killing whatever it was you just killed, man. Whatever it was got them pretty good because they've got crippled limbs and it just looks like it was a rough time for them. <laughs> good luck, guys. Ah, here we go. Fort Constantine. It says it right on the sign. Oh, boy. I'm going to blow up the truck. There we go. I was kind of hoping that would do some damage to the gutsy. What the heck? Thank you. There we go. Man, vengeance is great. I love this thing. Oh, hey guys. Did y'all help? If you did, I really appreciate it. I didn't notice if you did or not, but it was pretty great of y'all. I think. I'm not I'm not 100% sure what's going on right now in life. What? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, hi! Okay. That was fun. Ah, pre-war book. And a guns and bullets, heck yeah. This is, uh, what is this? The, the CO? Yeah, CO quarters, okay. There's something, there's another book in here. Heck yeah. There's, uh, and there's radiation too, also as well. Alright, and a quantum, oh my god. Okay, none of this is the stuff I came in here for. Uh, there is one thing in here that I specifically want, but it's also not the ultimate goal of the day, but it's down here. And that is... Haha! <laughs> the most useless bobblehead for me. The big guns. Uh, it's it's only useless for me because I maxed out my big gun skills because I didn't, I didn't plan anything. I just have been doing stuff, so... This is kind of a waste, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna take it anyways. The inscription on the base reads, "The best way to win an argument is to be the loudest." Excellent. There's a lot of bottle caps in here for me, which I love. I love money. And the Fort Constantine launch codes. I don't know if I can do anything with that, uh, but if I can, that would be spectacular. And a stealth boy and a Chinese spec ops training manual. All right. There's a lot of good stuff in here for me. Now, I think, yeah, one of the keys can open this up. I don't know. I don't know if I need to go this way. Ah, screw it. Let's go. Heck yeah. What do we got? Door to launch control bunker. Uh, well, I guess that would make the uh, launch codes really worthwhile. Clover. 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 Can I do something? Can you just wait? But it's wait. God, you are the worst you the worst person. Alright, let's get going. I guess we're gonna go kill this gutsy because Clover's way too impulsive about it. Hi, dude.
Come on. Thank you. Alright, Clover, can we go back upstairs, please? I didn't even get to finish looting. Goodness gracious, girl. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Alright, wasn't expecting a sentry bot. Kill it. Thank you. I was... Man, everything was all quiet for a minute, and I was deciding whether or not I wanted to freaking hack this terminal, or if I wanted to pick the door, and then freaking... Ah, okay, we're gonna do both. Alright, that's how this is gonna go. I'm gonna put on the lab coat, and I'm gonna do a drug. Okay, there we go. And I'm, I'm really just doing this for more experience. This isn't totally necessary. I could have just opened the door, but no. I like, uh... I like the XP. I don't know if there's anything in here, anything that's worthwhile. It doesn't it doesn't feel like I got anything worthwhile. It kind of feels like I wasted my time. I'm not going to lie. I I feel kind of ripped off, but that's okay. Oh, I should probably put my power armor back on too, huh? Yeah, it's probably a good idea, huh? Oh, hey, a duck in cover. I think I already found one of those today. Too. Wait, why is this stealing? What? What is going on? Launch ICBM, huh? Sure. Oh. Uh. Hmm. You know, maybe I should have thought about that a little before I just did it. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I, I might be okay. I guess it depends on where it landed. Okay, this door got opened with Dukov's key. Really making some progress here. I know what I want. Hello. Ooh, hi. Warhead storage key. Fantastic. Tara. Uh, uh, she might have been another person hired by, uh, Ten oh god! Come on! Are you not gonna fight back? You don't want to? That's fine. If you don't want to, I'll just... I'll just kill you. Thanks, buddy. I'm actually starting to, uh, run out of... Ow. Ow. I hope that's not important to get into. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. I think, yes. Yes, it is. First of all, DC Journal of Internal Medicine. There's also a fat man. Uh, I, I guess I could take that if I, I really wanted it. Uh, yeah, why not? I don't know what condition it's in. Pretty good condition. Might as well have it. Here we go. Some power armor. Disable stasis field. Perfect. The T-51B power armor and helmet. Perfect. I'm pretty sure this is the unique variant of the T-51 power armor that the uh, the Brotherhood wears. Uh, but you can see DR-50 versus DR-25. I think even if the Tesla armor was all the way maxed out, it still, still wouldn't be that high. I'm not 100% certain on that, though, but I don't care. I've got it. I like it, and I'm going to wear it. Woo! There's uh, another power armor that's uh, slightly better, depending on, uh, you know. I, it's it's a lot better, uh, but it comes from a DLC, and I don't want to do it yet. I want to get other things first. The only thing is the, the helmet increases my charisma, and we can't have that. Also... I can't wear my lucky shades, so I'm keeping the iBot helmet, but I am put, I'm, I am putting on the T-51B. I came all this way for it. It's what we're going to wear, all right? I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited about it, so this is what we're doing. Let's get the heck out of here before I freaking lose my mind. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh my god. Clover, please, I swear. Oh. Oh. Hey, I leveled up. This is a dangerous place to be in, though. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So what's our plan for today? Uh, I actually haven't put a whole lot of thought into it. Let's uh, let's get repair up to 80. Let's get medicine up to 80 as well. Why not? And oh, shoot. I don't know. I could get lock pick up to 50 so that way I can pick average locks without having to take mintats, but Eh, I don't know. It feels like I'm taking Mintats for just about everything. Let's see, because Mintats give me five intelligence and perception. So every time I take a Mintats, my medicine and repair would be at 100. I, no, it would be at 90. Yeah, it would be at 90. So that's, that's pretty good. I think I'm doing that right. Yeah, because you get two skill points for every one point and the corresponding special stat. So if I could get these two up to 90, then effectively every time I take a Mintat, they're at 100. So I'm going to bring repair to 85. And ah, why not? Let's put a point into melee weapons just because. And as for our perk. It's not the most important perk in the world, but I do keep setting off mines unintentionally and I'm kind of tired of it. So we're going to take light step. That's that's how we're doing this. Let's go. I'm not going to try it because I'm not that big of an idiot, but I wonder if you shoot these uh, if, if you shoot these warheads, uh, do they explode? Probably. That's probably a dumb question, but I don't want to test it because uh, I'm just not feeling that adventurous right now. You know, took me a long time to get here, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, goodness gracious. That really took a lot out of me, but hey, we got a sweet new power armor out of it. And as much as I love the Tesla armor, because I think it looks way cooler, I think we're going to hold on to this T-51B for a while. I mean, it's it's literally twice as strong. Uh, at least for now. If I find out that the Tesla armor is better, or if I can find other Tesla armors to repair it, that might make a difference. But I think I, I think I know of a couple ways that I can get myself some T-51B power armor. Uh, so that makes maintaining this one much, much easier. So that's what we're doing for now. And on the next episode, I think, I think since we're set with armor and weapons, maybe it probably be a good idea to go and i don't know like avenge the death of my dad or something but we'll see we'll figure that out on the next episode so if you made it this far into the video as always thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you on the next one mm, bye